Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the JDBC result set. In this video and next few few video series, we'll look into the uh, JDBC result set itself. So let's uh, start with the slides. So in this video, uh, we are going to see some of the concept related to the JDBC result set and first of First of all, we'll see result set contains records. Now, second thing we are going to see how to create a result set. Uh, after that, we'll see how to iterate result set. And finally, we'll see uh, how to access column value from result set. So let's start. So a result set basically contains a record. A result set consists of records. Each record contains a set of columns each record contains the same amount of columns although not all columns may have a value a column uh, can have null value here, here you can see i have illustrated a picture in this picture you can see there are three columns uh, if we select three columns uh, if we if we have a sql query and there we are selecting three columns like name age and gender yeah, a table can have more than one columns but we are interested to select values for these three columns right so see these are the name and age name age and gender these are the columns and this represents the corresponding values right now the result set has three different columns right i have shown you name age and gender and three records with different uh, values of each column right so we have a three records one two and three and uh, every record has different values now how to create result set uh, you can create result set by executing a statement ppi statement or call level statement like this so if you want to create a result set from a statement then connection interface as a method is called create a statement and this will return with the statement object now on a statement if you call execute method which there you will have to pass a select query right so here i'm passing select a star from employee table and this will return with the result set object so this is the first way to get the result set object if you want to get the result set from the prepared statement that also it is possible connection interface again has a method is called prepare uh, a statement right and prepare a statement uh, accepts a sql query itself and this will return the prepared statement object and you call execute method execute query uh, on a statement object then you'll get the uh, result set so here you can see the distinguish between these two uh, how we are getting the result set so when you create a, a statement and on a statement object when you call execute query then you are passing the sql query right but uh, while well in the case of prepare statement while crea creating the prepare statement itself we are passing the sql query but uh, in case of a statement, we are passing SQL query to, to the query execute query method. But here execute query method does not take any parameter. So these two things you will have to keep in mind. Now, if you, you want to get the result set using a callable statement, then that is also possible. If you have a connection object, then you call prepare call on that and you pass the SQL. SQL is nothing but the store procedure call as we know that call level statement is basically used to uh, call the store procedure or store function in the database uh, that is already pre-compiled and stored on the database server so we will have to call prepare call and you pass the uh, sql that is nothing but the uh, sql which calls the store procedure and this returns is the call level statement object and when you call uh, execute query on call level statement object then you get the result set so these are the three ways to get the result set object now if i can show you uh, uh, if uh, date uh, here i had created a project earlier and that is already i have shown you in previous video tutorial using a statement you can see using a statement so we get the connection from connection we get the statement and we prepare the SQL query and we are calling uh, execute query on SQL uh, statement object and we are passing the SQL query and we get the result set and just we are iterating the result set and we are getting the value so if I call this if I run this program 
then I get the all records available on the database. So these are the records available in the database. So in employee underscore table, and this is the way to get the result set from a statement. And if I can show you how to get the uh, result set from prepared statement. So here is the example which I, we had seen in previous video tutorial. So here we have a like uh, get all employees info. So here you can see we uh, create the prepare statement from connection object and we call the execute query and this SQL query we are passing while creating the prepare statement itself and uh, when you call execute query on prepare statement object then we get the result set and just we are iterating this result set and we are getting we are just fetching values for every column and value we are setting in the employee object and just we are adding into this list which we have created and finally this list which is populated with the all employees object we are returning to the uh, caller right so if i can run and show you this client program so prepare statement he just i'm going to call this method get all employees info then you'll get the almost similar result right you are getting and in case of call level statement call level statement i had written a stored procedure which asks you to supply the uh, employee id right and for that employee id that returns you the employee information right so here basically result set is going to return only one object because you are fetching employee information based on the uh, employee id if i can run you if i run this and i pass the employee id one then we are getting the value right so here also we can get the result set using call level statement right so this example already we have seen in previous uh, video tutorial but uh, this basically this uh, video is, is dedicated to the result set itself that's why i am revisiting this concept now iterating the result set to iterate the result set you use the next method right the next method returns true if the result set has the next record and moves the uh, result set pointer to the next re record if there were no more records next returns false and once the next method has returns false you should not call it anymore doing so may result in an exception okay if there is no any more record if you try to call next method on that then this will return you uh, exception or this will re return you false basically this will return you false now here is an example of iterating the result set using the next method right so here i have shown you in this example here we call the rs dot next right and uh, this returns true means there, there is a result set in the there are records in the result set and this returns you false that means this will exit from the for loop right so now as you can see next method is actually called before the first uh, record is accessed right so once uh, if you call the next method then if all records are uh, when you when you, this method returns you false right then the result set will point to the after the last record and after that if you call rs.next then this will that will, that will uh, throw an exception right so that is the thing here you can see as you can see next method is actually called before the first record is accessed that means the result set was pointing before the first record initially right once next time method has been called it points to the first record so initially in beginning the result set points to the before the first record once you call the next method then that points to the first record again you call next then that will point to the second record if record is there and if you have only two records and again you are calling next then this will point to the after the last record and after that you cannot call next method else that will throw an exception similarly when next is called return false the result is actually pointing after the last record now accessing the column value how we can access the column value that we have already seen but let's revisit again when iterating the result set you want to access the column values of each record you do so by calling one or more of the uh, many get uh, triple x triple x is nothing but a, uh, we have a getter method different getter method for primitive as well as uh, different data type available in the data uh, java 
so the result set has a lot of getter method right so you can call those getter method to access the column value so you pass the name of the column to get the value of to the many get triple x methods for instance you can say result dot next then your result set object dot get string just you are passing the column name and you will get the column value is is uh, suppose integer then you will call result set object dot get int and you pass the column value you get the age similarly you can coefficient if that is big decimal then you call getter method of big decimal there are a lot of getter get triple x method which can call which returns the value of the column as a certain data type like a string int long double big decimal etc they all take the name of the column to obtain the column value for as a parameter the get triple x method also come in the versions that take a, a column index instead of a column name so here instead of column name you can pass the column index if you know the column index you can pass and you'll get the same uh, retrieving the value column value from the column index would be faster than uh, retrieving uh, column value from column name now here you can pass the column index as well like one two three uh, that depends on the select uh, uh, query right so index starts from the leftmost parameter which will index as one then two and so on the index of the column typically depends on the index of the column in the sql statement for instance the sql statement like select name age coefficient so for name index is one for age two and coefficient three our sql uh, query has three columns the column name is uh, listed first and uh, and will thus have the index one in the result set so first column has a uh, index one the column age will have a index two and column coefficient will have a index three right sometimes you do not know the index of the certain column ahead of time for instance if you use select a star from employee table uh, right the then type of sql query if you uh, written a type of sql query like select a star from employee table then you don't know the column index right in that case uh, in that case you can uh, if you do not know the index of the certain column you can find the index of that column using the result set dot find column and you pass the column name you get the column index so like this so if you have a result set object then find column you pass the column name you get the column index so you pass the column name as age you will get the column index you pass the column name as a coefficient you will get the column index and uh, here in while loop you can now result dot get string and you can pass the column index right now you get the column index and you pass the age column index as well you get the column index for coefficient you pass it over here and you will get the uh, corresponding column value like this so i hope you enjoyed learning this video uh, in next video uh, i am going to show you uh, i think uh, 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 project related to this concept already we have covered in the past so if you do not watch my previous video tutorial then i recommend you to go and watch my previous jdbc video there i have covered how to create result set using a statement prepare statement and callable statement uh, how to type the column value and all these are the things i have already covered in next video tutorial we are going to see uh, i mean uh, how many types of result sets are there so please uh, be over there and thanks for watching this video